The busy and crowded streets of Alexandra Township in South Africa were graced with the presence of the late Queen Elizabeth II in the 90s. Large crowds of children, gogos and mkulus gathered at the Roman Catholic Church and waved South African flags as they welcomed her with large smiles and some joyful noise. The Queen was gifted a grass mat known as Iqanzi in Zulu by the elderly people of Alexandra that Mr. Twala fends for. This gift was hand-woven by them from scratch. In the picture that is captured, we see Mr. Twala handing the grass mat to the Queen. I'm Linda Twala. I was born and brought up in Alexandra. My grandparents were the first to live in Alex in Banjwa in 1903. When Alex was declared a black area then, they were the first to occupy properties in Alexandra. And the work that I do, I inherited it from my mother, who died at the age of 100. The picture that I would have been showing you, the place that started it all, it was in 1967, when I buried a destitute old lady by the name of Rosie Shavalar. And that's when things started happening. But when Queen Elizabeth came to Alex in 1995, as I said earlier, that I wouldn't like to dwell on the wrongs of the past. All we want to see is to see them coming back to South Africa, helping us. Because the time when Mandela was released from prison, he was in a stagecoat with the Queen of England. And of course, Oliver Tambo and Tabum Pig was also there. Now, I just don't want to dwell in the wrongs of the past. All I want to say is that if ever they happen to come back, they must at least consider plowing back into our communities, not to the government per se. Okay. Um, what was she holding in the picture? I gave her a gift which was made by our senior citizens. We call it Tikans, Mrs. Zul. Uh, this gift was made by senior citizens. Some of them have passed on, but uh, she was excited receiving it. And I remember when she shook her hand with me, even the son, Prince Edward, also was given the same gift. Okay. Um, what were Alexandrians expecting from the visit from the British uh, royalty? Well, they were just excited to see the monarchy, the Queen of England, visiting Alexandra mm. because they've never met her and we're all excited. Mm. It's just that uh, when we talk about education, that's what I had in mind, that maybe one day these people are going to help us with our children mm. so that they can further their studies overseas. Mm. Mr. Linda Twala is a well-renowned community leader and philanthropist of Alexandra Township and all other surrounding townships such as Timbisa, Jermiston, Rabi Ridge, Rosettenville and Ivory Park. To date, he has received multiple awards from different organizations and dignitaries for the work that he does. Some of the awards include the Legacy Award and the Inyatelo Award to name a few. As he takes us through his home, we notice that the walls are filled with historic pictures where Mr. Twala is posing with prominent people from all around the world, such as Nelson Mandela, Oliver Tambo's wife, Queen Elizabeth, and Prince Edward. In the pictures, we also see the Habitat for Humanity houses that were built by Mr. Twala, together with the community members and people from abroad. We see a statue of John A. Gangwele Mbanjwa, who was the grandfather of Mr. Twala and the first resident of Alexandra. We also see the Roman Catholic Church situated in First Avenue, Alexandra, which is where it all started for Mr. Twala. The picture that caught our attention today is the picture of the late British monarch, Queen Elizabeth II.